Hello, this is a quick video tutorial on how to graph ellipse and hyperbola. Let's begin with ellipse. Say we have an ellipse with the equation x squared over 25 plus y squared over 16 equals 1. There we go. We have this ellipse. And then we plot the foci. The first foci would be 3, 0. There we go. And then this is labeled F1. I usually label the positive points as my 1. Or so let's say positive of foci would be, positive focus would be F1. Negative would be F2. Positive vertex would be v1 and then negative would be v2 and then from the equation we also have the vertex at vertices at 5 0 there we go at the end of the uh, major axis it's longer there and then we label this as v1 plot the negative vertex Label it, there we go, the black dot, label it V2. Next would be the covertices. Covertices would be 0, 4. There at the end of the minor axis, CV1. And one more would be 0, negative 4. The blue dot at the end of the other end would be CV2. And that's it for your ellipse. Let's clear all of this. Okay, clearing all of this and let's move on to hyperbola. All right, let's change our equation to subtraction. There we go, this would now be our hyperbola. For the foci, we have 25 plus 16. Okay, we have the square root of 41. Square root of 41, zero. There we go. And we label this as focus 1 or F1. Then on the other side would be negative square root of 41, comma 0. And that's the other focus. This is F2. F2. Then for the vertices, square root of 25 is 5. So let me plot that, 5, 0, there, and this V1. The other side, negative 5, 0, check the label, you'll have V2. Then covertices would determine how wide your branches of the hyperbola are. Square root of 16 is 4, so we have 0, 4, there we go. And that is CV1. And then another is 0, negative 4. And that is CV2. Uh, that tells you how wide your branches would be. And then last would be the asymptotes. For the asymptotes, Y is equal to B over A. That is B. 4 over 5, 4 over 5x, and then the other one is the negative asymptote, y is equal to negative 4 over 5x. All right, this is now the complete graph of your hyperbola. Ta-da! See? Then, oh, when you take a screen capture of this, please zoom it in such that I would be able to see the values. And that's it. Thank you for watching.